Hey guys, we're back for uh, a new episode. Thanks for dropping in. Um, I do want to thank you here at the beginning of the video. Um, still not sure what the release schedule is going to look like here over about the next week. Um, as you guys may or may not know, uh, I am recording this. Uh, I just got home yesterday afternoon and uh, I will be leaving again in a couple of days. Um, so today is uh, New Year's Eve, uh, December 31st. Uh, my mom passed away Monday morning. And uh, I left town Monday. Had a couple of videos already up for Monday and Tuesday. And of course, missed, missed an episode yesterday. Uh, I do have an episode going up for today. It'll go up a little late. Um... And I'll do my best here over the next few days to get uh, episodes up for the rest of this week and into next week. But uh, funeral services are Monday and Tuesday of next week. Uh, so I will be out of town again. Uh, and then I'm just honestly um, not sure what kind of emotional shape I'm going to be in, you know, coming home from that as far as to work on videos and, and record anything. But, uh, so, you know, the next week's going to be a little up in the air. I mean, I do have videos. I'm going to try to record some today um, and uh, do do the best I can. I may not be as upbeat as I normally am, and I hope you understand that. But, uh, you know, this, this will be something to take my mind off of things and uh, kind of have some sense of normalcy now that my life is changed forever. <laughs> And, uh, so anyway, um, thank you for bearing with me. I do appreciate it. Let's get into some highlights. Uh, so we played through and before the match today, we'll look at the results, uh, leading up to this. We did have our winter break friendlies. We've got an eight, one win over Borsko. Let's take a look at the goals. We start off with a set piece that goes to Robinson at the back post. That puts us up 1-0. There was a poor clearance. They get on the attack, and there's a shot from range that beats Heidenreich at the post. There's their lone goal. We come back, 40th minute, long throw, and just dinks the keeper from the edge of the box. That was nice to put us up 2-1. There was a little flick back header. Back to Vera, and Vera's on the score sheet. That made it 3-1. to one. Furlong sitting on a yellow card. Gets the ball up. There's a deep ball in to Robinson, who controls it. One touch into the net, and that's his second of the match. Set piece at the near post, and that was Makarenko. Vera set piece over the wall and into the corner of the net. That's a brace for him. And we have just torn this game open. A nice flick on header. And Vera, I believe that was the hat trick for him. Yeah, super hat trick. And then Yamaninko at the near post. Vera just left wide open. And that's his fourth of the match. 24 shots, 11 on target. Just completely dominated the game. And uh, yeah, Robinson with a brace. Vera with four Terenia and Makarenko added to the tallies. All right, we then came into the match against Dnipro. Taking a look at this one. We're in the white, Dnipro in the blue. They're on the attack. Through ball and Kavalenko beats two defenders, puts Dnipro up 1-0. Wish these speeds would stay consistent, but they don't. All right, there's another ball out wide, Naglev into the box, lays it back to the edge of the six, put in by Bustamente, and they take a 2-0 lead in the second half with about 25 minutes to play. We come in, back out. That's another similar goal, attack to the touchline, laid back to the edge of the six. It's put in by Vera. But even though we outshot them 10-8 to and had possession advantage, we fall 2-1 in this one. And then we come back against, uh, I don't know, Chernigiv. Kuzminski puts one in off a penalty in the 27th minute. That gives us a 1-0 lead. Furlong in the attack. We saw this last match. Lays it back. 
couple of one-two passing, and Vera finds the goal there. And he has been really hot. That's three matches in a row, six total goals. Can't complain at all. We're up 2-0. There's a nice little pass into the box for Desna and makes it 2-1. to one. And then they come in with a set piece, and I guess Heidenreich got blinded there. The ball just cleared the wall. That was disappointing. They have the throw. We come back on a counter right over the top to Robinson, and he beats the keeper, makes it 3-2 to two in the 81st minute, and 23 shots, 12 on target, 55% of the possession in that one. Luvansky for Desna, player of the match with two goals, but we get the 3-2 win. Taking a look at our schedule as of late. So let's see, last match we saw Dynamo Kiev and FC20. So we finished out the first half of the year. Michaelev, 2-0 win. Carlos Vera and Tarashenko with the goals. Shakhtar was a 4-2 defeat. Philip Camp and Victor Bidney with the two goals for us. Vels, a 9-2 dismantling in the Euro Cup group stage. Carlos Vera with a hat trick. Camps with a goal. Carabella and Kushinsky, and that was and and more <laughs> and more. Uh, let's see, let's click on that so we can see the whole list. So yeah, camps with a uh, camps with a goal. Carabella, Kuchinsky, Radinov, Simic, and Mikhailov all with goals. Hat trick to Vera. So you can see he's been really hot on the score sheet. And then we had a, a run of friendlies. We uh, completely dominated those and then the games that we just watched. So we're going to be back uh, for the first match with Zurich today in the Euro Cup second knockout round. First leg, we are away, so let's get to that. All right, we're going to be going with Heidenreich in the goal, Furlong, Radnov, Bidney, and Makarenko on the back line. Kuchinski and Fidrich on the wings, Teruya in the mid, Camp sitting in the number 10, Robinson and Vera up top. Uh, tell you what, let's pop out real quick, let you guys take a look at stats just to get you caught up. So Vera is sitting 28 goals in 29, 14 goals in 21 for Pavlenko, and 14 in 22 for Robinson. So all of our strikers are doing really well. Pavlenko, certainly not the better of the three, but he's scoring this year, and we're going to keep playing him a little bit. Oh, you know what? That's not that's not first team goals. Never mind. We'll take that out. So there you go. There's there's your first team scores. Uh, we are without Carabella. He's out for about five weeks uh, with broken ribs. So we are having to make do on the right wing. Uh, Lyoka also was injured on that wing, so he has not yet returned to fitness. So that's why. Uh, we're playing with Fidrich on that right wing, you know, third choice winger. And he's doing pretty good for us. He's had one match, but, you know, that's not who we want in there, to be fair. Still looking for match sharpness for Fidrich, and that's understandable. He just hasn't played a lot. All right, we are in the red today, my least favorite kit color, and Zurich in the white. And let's get to it. At least there's some white on the kids. It's not all red like, like Man United. Over the top, Vera brings it down easily, but he's flagged for offsides. Just a step. I think he would have been in on goal with his form as of late. There's a long throw into the box, and it's over the crossbar. So another chance. Doesn't go down as a shot, though, so that's interesting. Teruya. Back post. The keeper makes two saves off the line. Oh, my goodness. Are we sure that was an end? Do we have VAR to confirm that? That's disappointing. All right, let's, uh, let's encourage. So three shots, one on target. 59% possession here. They get their first shot in the 28th minute. All right, there's Furlong controlling it. 
Long throw. Good header to Camps. Oh, he lays it into Vera, and Vera not finishing. I'm surprised there. That was not a good effort <coughs> by him. Uh, they lose it. Furlong loses it, and he's out of position now as they push forward. Loray, Radinov tries to cut him off. There's a deflection by, look looked like Binyi got a leg on that in the run back. Uh, I think we need to go with a uh, demand more here, fellas. Not looking good here. Would like to see some goals. About a minute left here in the first half, plus whatever stoppage time. Erlong lumps it in. Keeper punches it away. Uh, a couple of ding-dong passes. Somebody might need to get uh, some some uh, toilet paper up their nose there to stop the bleeding. And I don't know what that was. We just lumped it out of play. Yes, he was feeling a little under pressure. Bidrich gets beat. Oh, that's not good. Heidenreich knocks it over. They're going to get a corner in the waning seconds of the first half. We need to hold strong here. Heidenreich was going down for the save, but it got cleared out. Blow the whistle, please. And there it is. We will go in scoreless at the half. 0.99 to 0.26 on the XG, but we just have not done a whole lot. Eight shots, two on target. Uh, I want to go uh, point the finger. Keep doing what you've been doing. All right. I think it's the red kits, man. Unlucky. You're going to go with the demand more here early in the first, in the second half. Why is he? Oh, he's frustrated. All right, Vera, set piece. Oh, he just can't bend it enough, and it goes wide of the goal. Come on, fellas. All right, I'm going to make a move here. All right, Kuczynski is not playing great. 6-5. He is composed. Do I have anybody that can play mid-right? I don't. You know what? Let's bring... Let's bring Tarashenko on. Now, Tarashenko is left-footed, so we're going to make him an inverted winger on support yeah let's do that and Erlong's playing well you know who's not is Makarenko he's only playing a 6-4 let's bring on uh, let's bring on let me figure that out who do I want to bring in I'm going to bring Yarmolenko on for him better crosser demand more again all right, Yarmolenko. There's Tarashenko over the top to Vera. He takes a shot, and it's parried away. Cleared out. Kuczynski is looking tired, and that's probably true. As is Teruya. All right, let's go in. We're almost at the 80th minute. So, central mid or left mid? Hey, what? I'm going to bring on a central mid. Let's bring on Makarov for him. He's still a very good passer of the ball, very good first touch. This is not a league match, so I can't make the additional subs. That's fine. We almost lost it there. That would have been bad. All right, Teruya. Look outside. He's wide open. Well, he plays it through, and Vera hits the woodwork. I think he was offsides. He was. 
He has looked, he's been just a step slow today. Yarmolenko, Vera, another opportunity, and he just chips it past the keeper. His 29th goal of the season puts us up 1-0. And let's pop into the tactic here. We're going to just slow the pace down. We are going to play for set pieces just to kind of slow things down. We'll have the away goal heading into the second leg at home. I mean, nothing wrong with that at all. 19 shots, only 5 on target, 2.19 on the XG. Dubyak makes the save and goal there. A little flick on header for them. Luckily, nobody there to run onto it. They're looking over the top for Vera again. And they've got an opportunity here. They're breaking forward, but we've got a lot of players back. Wide open. Good defense, and then cleared over the touchline for a corner. Always get nervous with these set pieces, man. <clears throat> Heidenreich makes the save. Hold on to it. Slow the ball down. Four minutes of stoppage time. We've got the ball for the throw in at their end. But there is an attack coming. Good block right to their player. Uh, oh, no, and Furlong misses it. And it looks like it hit the woodwork and bounced right into the keeper's hands. All right, they've got to throw in deep corner and a foul on camps. That's just going to get the clock to run some more. And there's the final whistle we hold on for the 1-0 victory. That's good. All right. Uh, outstretched arms, really special. Nobody gave us a chance. We will be happy with that. The one nil win. Now we do have the uh, the draw tomorrow, so let's get to that. Let's see what the draw is for. It's the quarter quarter and semifinals. So if we would make it past this round, uh, evidently some more consortium tr uh, takeover talk. The board trashes it. That's been going on a lot this year. So, all right. So there are two draws. So this is the final eight. And there we are, Zurich or Volin. And we will take on either Zenit or Young Boys, Russia or Switzerland from Switzerland or the Ukraine. So that's good. And now we need to go back in for the next draw. All right. So it will be Zurich, Volin, Zenit, or Young Boys against Laganis or Ajek, Tranmir, or Nantes, I guess is how you pronounce that. Well, there's the draws. Seems weird that they draw that far in advance, but I guess that way you can start planning travel arrangements and whatnot. All right, guys, well, we'll be back for the next episode. Thanks so much for checking this out. And uh, I do want to take just a second to thank you guys uh, that took time either on my Twitter feed or in my YouTube, uh, you know, the update I put up on YouTube the other day, uh, just for your, your thoughts, your prayers, your condolences. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, you know, definitely, you know, definitely a hard time. So uh, I'm sure some of you guys have gone through this. Some of you guys haven't yet, uh, but definitely, uh, definitely tough. So uh, thank you very much for your thoughts and prayers. Much appreciated. Guys, we'll see you next episode, uh, which I'm going to try to go record today. Talk to you later. Bye.